Talk to me about how that money change things, mm. though. Because, I mean, you come into it trying to make the money. Then that's thinking, you know, the money's coming in, but yeah. now you got to earn the money. And See, that's the thing. Like, for us, we all pretty much came from a stable background. Mm-hmm. Nobody was ever really struggling, struggling. So mm-hmm. when we made it, it wasn't like we had to take care of our family, yeah. our parents and stuff. Yeah. Pretty much... It was just our money going to us. We spending it. We we had too much to. I was waking up buying a bag every day, like <laughs> just because I was bored. Like, okay, let me go to Linux. Mm-hmm. But we were young. We were like eighteen, nineteen with money, money. Yeah, you know. And back then, it's not even the money that's out now. Like, come on. Man, models and IG hosts and these mom they getting bags. I was like, oh, I need to go and see what's out here because this is new money. Exactly. What was it that you loved the most about it, though, Princess? Mm. I mean, was it in the beginning stages? Was it at the peak, or was it getting off the damn roller coaster and saying, "Fuck it"? <laughs> um, the beginning. Mm-hmm. The beginning was the most fun when we didn't know about album sales, Mm. when we didn't know whoever wrote on this song gets this much. You know, we when it was just 30 people in the guest bedroom, my parents house rapping on an NEC computer mic Mm -hmm. with the stocking cap over it in the closet held up by a hanger. Yeah. With no hard drive, no punching in, you got to remember your whole verse and you can't let it crackle in the mic. (laughs) So you can't have your paper in the microphone. Like we were, we were almost in a boot camp and we didn't even know it. Yeah. Like nowadays, now eight bars, 16 bars. And we used to write 16s, two, three, 16s. These people are getting away with eight bars in the hook. (laughs) And I'm like, of course it's streaming a thousand times. I can listen to it five times in two minutes. Exactly. But now it's, I mean, you know, everything evolves. So you got to get with the program and evolve too. But it just took me a minute to really wrap my head around this social media stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm I'm from the era of if you had something to say, you can be found and we can talk. Yeah. Face to face. Yeah. And <laughs> you can be touched. Facts. By six degrees of separation. Now yeah. you got everybody thinking they something, man. <sighs> that fame though, princess, <laughs> when you looked up and everybody knew your name and mm. then you walking through the streets of Atlanta and it's just going down. Mm. And we're talking about a crunk era too, man. <laughs> what was that crunk era like mm-hmm. when the music had so much energy and the party didn't get started until y'all song came on? Uh, well, whew, you gotta rem- you gotta remember before Nug If You Buck was Ain't No More Playing GA. That's right. Knuckle Up. That's right. Uh East Side versus West Side. Come on now. Like, these are songs that are will forever be embedded here. That's right. This is the reason we are here, <laughs> because of those songs. Mm-hmm. Everything was an energy. It it You could feel the buildup. Yeah. You didn't care about your shoes being messed up. You went to the club with brand new Air Force Ones and a spanking clean white tee <laughs> and was happy when it was brown at the end of the club because yeah. that's how much fun you had. Yeah. Now it's like everybody got their phones. You can't even capture the moment for real. Uh, you can't be intimate with the artist or with the fan and the artist. It's just... But when when Nug If You Buck was at its biggest, um, I never forget my dad used to always say, we would go to church on Sunday. Shout mm-hmm. out to... World Changers Church International. <laughs> yeah. Um, we would go to church Sunday. We would get out at 12. Mm-hmm. At 12.01 was when Larry Tinsley would get off, and 12.01, <laughs> it'd be the midday shift. Yeah. Nug If You Buck was the first song played after Larry Tinsley went <laughs> off with that, you like that? I thought you would. <laughs> See y'all next week. Master of Ceremonies. da 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 no, give you buck. <laughs> Jesus is still in the room, people. That's right. 
So that that was one of the times where I really felt like, oh, we might be, we might be a little bit. We might, you know, that and um, when when I knew Jay Z and Diddy knew us, mm. and Diddy wanted to bring us out for the Jay Z and Friends tour, I was like, oh, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Puff Daddy himself called us. My God. So we had some good times. Um, we're blessed to have a lot of records that get sampled a lot. Yeah, yeah. Like, Nuck If You Buck has gotten sampled so many times. Uh, Stilettos get sampled. We, we have a great catalog, and it has blessed us to where we don't have to work all the time Thanks. but it's gotten us stagnant at the same time because mm. we already know we have this amount of money coming in every month yeah where i don't have to lift my finger and that's been cool you know what i'm saying it take care of all the bills yeah. all the you know what i'm saying all the kings wants and needs yeah but now it's like okay now let's get back to the grind let's get back to it because even though it's a lot of females out here a lot of them not saying nothing Mm. So, <laughs> talk to me. So, I mean, it's good, but you can't eat fried chicken every day. So now, princess, with hip hop right now being damn near a woman sport because the women took over, mm -hmm. how do you feel about that whole changing of the guard to it being a situation to where folks might not have been so apt to hear what the women had to say beforehand, and now that's just what's dominating the airways and every damn thing. I like it because. Um, Females have always had a perspective and something to say. And for a long time, I feel like it was forced for us to, like, stay in a box of what we wanted to say and what we could talk about. Now it's cool to talk about being a mother and having kids and having yeah. a family and wanting to be loved and da da da, da. It's not all, well... A lot, some of it might be, uh, <laughs> I take your man or I do this, I do that, but... I like that social media has given more platforms. Have you talked to any of these younger artists, though, mm. female artists that's come out, and how they said, Princess, you know I love you, <laughs> and I've been jamming to your song mm. ever since it came out? Um, Let me think. I always get love from Nikki. Love mm. Nikki. Um, I've met Megan. Mm. She's cool. Um, Asian doll, mm -hmm. me, her, and Diamond have some stuff together. Okay. Um, Amaretta, I love her. Love, love, love. I can't wait for her to like blow. Man, because Amaretta I think cold as hell. Scared of her, man. They scared. She the truth. She the truth. And she rapping harder than these dudes out yeah. here. And yeah. I believe it. <laughs> Talk to me about that though, too. When you see somebody like Amaretta that is the truth and has the juice to get there, but it's just kind of facing that uphill battle to getting up through there. What do you mm -hmm. think it is that keeps her from being able to get over that threshold? And then also, how the hell, what advice do you have for her to get over it? Man, well, one, and I think she knows this because she's, she's an all-around artist. Mm -hmm. So when it's her time, it's really going to be her time. Mm -hmm. Because outside of rapping, mm -hmm. now she's dabbling into the singing, mm -hmm. which is going to make her become more of a songwriter that's right and then she can make clothes like mm -hmm. she sews her own clothes sometimes <laughs> gotcha. and doing her hair and makeup and stuff and it's just little stuff that i watch i'm so excited about certain people to see their growth and with her some people are too real for this fake industry you know what i'm saying like everybody isn't gonna go through them hoops yeah everybody's not going to Talk about this and that and get a BBL and push up their breasts yeah. just for this moment in time where I just might be somebody. No, man.